Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back again for a very special uh, channel update episode. Um, so today, I kind of wanted to, to go over some things. It's the end of summer. Um, we've had episodes almost every week all through summer long, and uh, now that uh, it begins the fall season, um, we're gonna have even even more videos <laughs> to deal with. Um, I might be taking a little bit of a break um, coming up here. Uh, after uh, uh, the Halloween season, after October, um, but I haven't decided that yet. I have a lot of things kind of in store uh, to look forward to, um, and I'm going to talk about those here in a minute. Uh, but first of all, um, I wanted to say, hey, thank you um, for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, if you haven't already, um, go down there and, and give me a subscribe because it's pretty awesome. Um, thank you so much. We're over 150 subscribers. Um, that's pretty fucking crazy. I know it doesn't sound like a whole lot because a lot of uh, my contemporaries, um, you know, have thousands of subscribers. Um, but to me, 150 is a whole lot. I didn't think I was going to break 100. And when I did last year, um, it was a pretty fucking cool thing. And speaking of how we got here um, <laughs> to this point, it is uh, right now, um, we're beginning of fall 2020. Um, the channel started back in the fall of 2017. I didn't have anything necessarily on it yet or anything that was that was new at the time. Um, I had been making videos at the old Super Hammer Bros in color, which was an offshoot of SuperHammerBros.com of which I was a part, uh, me and Raz Holly. Uh, we had some videos over there. We started with the uh, the LJN videos, um, all which were produced by Raz Holly and shot on my phone. Um, and he did all the editing and everything for me and put them up on the channel and was ostensibly, not even ostensibly, was actually literally running my, my YouTube channel for me. Um, that's why I always, always, always thank Raz Holly every time and that's why if if you wonder why i say raz holly hit the music because he's the guy that was hitting the music um in all my videos prior to um 2018 um spring of 2018 <laughs> so um and, you know and also big thanks to, to raz holly he's going to be joining us here for the next one of these big channel updates that i have planned I have one planned in December um, for the beginning of the, the sort of winter season, and it's going to be sort of a year-ender, um, best of episode where we're going to have clips and, and stuff like that. I'll talk about that here in a second, but first, I kind of want to talk about how we got here. Um, so it was superhammerbros.com. We start the channel in 2017 with some videos that I'd already made over there, and we just sort of transferred them over. Um, they weren't very good, uh, my first videos. I look at them now and I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. Um, you might get something out of them. There's a few of them that are still there. I haven't chose to put up every single old video if you'd like to see some of these. Um, and since I have been putting up new stuff on Wednesdays, would you like to see an old video on a Wednesday? Um, you know, I'm not always going to have new shit to put up and then maybe that would be kind of cool to... to re-release an older video that I don't have up on the channel um, on on a Wednesday in the middle of the week midweek special is what I've been calling them um, if that's something that you'd be interested in taking a look at hey let me know let me know down in the comments that's another thing I kind of want to just sort of drive this um, participation thing yeah tell me what, what you like and um, and put it down here in the comments below and in the next update, the next channel update, we'll do a little bit of q and I'll, uh, I'll A the Q's and, uh, and so on and so forth. And if you have some comments, tell me what your, you know, what your favorite things about the channel are, what your least favorite things about the channel are, if you have any critiques or anything like that, leave them down below and, uh, and let me know about. So the channel started off with these LJN videos. Um, I, I was collecting the LJN WWF superstars at the time. We were <laughs> trying to get through that series of figures, but they became really, really expensive. And I ran into a lot of scalpers and uh, unsavory individuals. And, and it just ended up being too expensive at the end of the day. Um, I can't afford to buy any more of these LJN figures. 
So if you were hoping that I was gonna kind of finish the game on those, it's just not gonna fucking happen. Unless the, the, the market price on LJN figures, like the Series 4 and up, go down significantly, which I'm not fucking predicting is going to happen, then don't expect me to, to finish that series. Sorry about that, you know, I, I, I tried to try to do like a make good for it and, and maybe think of a, another video that I could do to sort of just put a cap on the end of that series. Um, maybe I will, I don't know. If it's something that you're really interested in me doing, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. If it's something that you don't care, if I don't have anything that's like in hand or, or that I can show you uh, the actual figures of and I can just use photos. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know and maybe, maybe there'll be, you know, the, the series four through six video for, for the LJN figures. Next, we moved on to the Dreadnoughts, uh, the G.I. Joe Dreadnoughts, and I kind of fell off of that before I finished it, even though I do have kind of everything in the vintage line as far as the Dreadnoughts are concerned, minus a vehicle. Um, but that was something that I looked at that I semi lost interest in it and I was looking at YouTube and it's like all these toy reviewers dude like everybody and their fucking mother does G.I. Joe reviews and while dr the Dreadnoughts are its own sort of thing kind of but it's kind of niche but at the same time it's just another fucking dipshit doing G.I. Joe reviews and I'm just not interested in doing stuff that everybody else is doing or at least being able to do it in my own way. So again, if it's something you want to see, if you want to see me finish the, the Dreadnought game, uh, tell me down below in the comments. If it's something just to wrap it up, to kind of do like an overview, like here's what they are, here's all the, uh, you know, all, all the Dreadnoughts, here's is everything in, in that series, and, and just sort of finish it once and for all. Um, I. I'm willing to do that. I still have all those fucking things. Um, so, and, and for a one-shot episode, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I'll do it. Um, but let me know. If it's something you'd be interested in seeing, I'll do it. As we moved on away from, like, wrestling figures and stuff like that, I realized I could do whatever I wanted. And I found that doing stuff that's vintage and doing stuff that's really old, um, besides the, the new stuff that I like, uh, has become a big interest of mine and uh, as we've moved on to this season of uh, the, the 2020 season of the Dan Classic Show um, I found that that Mego has been a big thing like I kind of fell down this Mego rabbit hole and it continues to to suck me in and uh, and collecting all these things and I met up with the guys at the collector's dungeon um, and they have uh, been super helpful and super supportive and super cool. Um, you know, Count Stankis and John Wild. Speaking of which, John Wild sent me, just got it in the mail today. Hey, <laughs> it's a Type 1 Spider Man. Um, and his suit fits. It's not, he's not bursting out of it. Um, and he sent this to me um, completely, absolutely free, along with a couple other cool things. Um, but yeah. Isn't that dope? And he's a very nice looking figure. And um, yeah, thank you, John. Thank you so much. I, I totally appreciate it. And uh, yeah, look for this in a, a future Mego episode. I'm gonna be covering these things over and over again as as long as my interests are, are high as far as Mego is concerned. And it doesn't look like it's waning anytime soon. Um, as I've gotten into the, the Mego community. I was warned that there were people that were gonna be down on whatever I was doing, because I am, I can be critical of this shit. Um, but I haven't heard anything yet. I was not honestly waiting for it, but I haven't heard anything yet. So if you got some shit to talk, comments are down below. Let me know what you feel or what you think about it. If you disagree with me, dude, let me know, man. We can have the conversation right here on the channel. Other people that I'd like to thank, of course, it's gonna be Raz Holly's number one, always. He's the guy that, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing these fucking videos. He, he helped me out, he taught me how to do it, basically. Uh, then there's Brandon Kirkpatrick, he was a guy that was running the FullNelsonPress.com. 
Um, long before I was even making any kind of content for the internet, this guy was making web comics and I was a big fan of his. He became a friend and uh, helped me out tremendously uh, as, as we go. And he's still there. I'm going to link him down in the description below. He still does a, uh, a podcast, I believe weekly, uh, the Full Nelson Press podcast right here on YouTube. Um, I'll link it down below. Go check it out. Him and uh, his buddy Pete. They talk about wrestling and stuff. And I don't always agree with them, but uh, it's, it's, a good, it's a good show. Um, and they can be really funny. So yeah, go, go check it out. It's down there in the, in the links below, of course. Um, and without uh, the music that I have on the channel, we started out with, uh, with Dan Mason. And it was a, a matter of me asking permission. Hey, can we use the music? He said, sure, just go ahead and, and give me credit. And I always did. Um, and then I kind of wanted to move more toward people I knew. And, and so that's what I did. So uh, Jamelin, Orlando, uh, Anti-Polished. Um, the, the, the music, the, almost all the music that you're going to hear in the show is done by someone um, that I know personally. And uh, I, I, that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable a lot of times when you're putting this stuff up because I know I'm not going to get nailed being like, hey, I own that fucking song. Uh, so so there you go. Um, so thanks a lot. And then um, most of all, let's let's thank you, the subscribers. <laughs> the, the 100 plus subscribers to the channel. Um, man, you guys are awesome. Um, just keep uh, keep watching the videos. Keep giving me the likes and the, the more subscribes. Show your friends. If this is something that you think uh, that somebody might like, dude, just turn them on to it. Let them know, dude. Hey, if they don't like it, who gives a shit? Uh, at least uh, another uh, pair of eyeballs got on it. But, uh, but hey, thank you so much. All right, and so moving on, um, on the next update episode, we're going to have, um, it's going to be kind of a year-end thing, a Zoom call type of fucking thing that nobody's ever done that before, um, but it'll be me and Raz Holly, um, maybe some other guests, who knows, um, at least that's the plan right now, um, for the end of the year, and it's kind of like going to be a big year-ender episode. It'll be in December. I'm not sure if it'll be the first weekend or the last weekend because um, some things got switched around. I had planned on doing Bible Quest as a review, um, but all the shit for Bible Quest disappeared off of goddamn eBay, and I wasn't able to get any of it. Um, and so if I can't, and if I can't do it all, um, there were three sets that I wanted, and I had three weeks of shit planned. Um, but if I can't do it all, I don't want to do it at all. If you can't do it right, don't do it. That's that's my fucking thing. And I couldn't do it right, so I'm not doing it. I've changed some plans, and things are going to change in December. And who knows? It's all up in the air right now as far as what I'm going to do that month. But look forward to it. There will be some sort of semblance of a Christmas special. And I will be doing a channel update with Raz Holly where I will do a Q&A. And I will do um, kind of a best of with uh, clips and stuff from the show from the entire, uh, the entirety of the series, which you can find at right here on YouTube. Go ahead and go watch the old episodes. They don't get any love, dude. I took them down during the whole COPPA fucking thing, and they all got deleted off of fucking YouTube, and then I put them back up. So none of them have any goddamn views, um, and they're from 2017, 2018, and 2019. And it's, there's a lot of good stuff on there and they don't get enough fucking attention. And, um, and so go and check them out and, and, and let me know the stuff that you like and we'll compile a big uh, best of thing at the end of the year. All right, so to wrap up this big channel update, um, instead of just sitting here and, and looking at my fat face talk for fucking half an hour, um, besides that, um, I do have a review, it's a smaller review, and to start off October, the Halloween season, this will be the, the part one, um, is the Universal Monsters Bendy figures. These aren't the vintage ones. I wanted to get the goddamn vintage ones. I could not find them, um, but I did get the newer ones. I found them at Walgreens like last year at some point. Sitting on them, waiting, waiting to do a review for them, and this is the perfect opportunity. So right now, I present to you uh, the the Universal Monsters uh, Bendy Figures by Bendoms.
All right, so here we are. It's the uh, bendable, poseable, collectible, Bendems Universal Studios Monsters. Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. I've got all four. Um, they're made by Sunny Days, um, Bendem's line. These are, there's two big bendy lines. Um, there's the NJ Croce bendable figures, and then there's the Sunny Days Bendem's. Um, and you'll see just about every major uh, licensable fucking character uh, made into a bendy. Um, a lot of people kind of like overlook bendies, but I like bendies a lot, and I'm constantly kind of on the hunt for them. Um, and so, th th this is just something I look for out in the fucking wild. And at Walgreens, they carry these motherfuckers, um, or at least they did. And um, I'm always looking for what we've got for new. But let's take a look at the packaging. Um, we have a very kind of semi-generic uh, front of the box. We have the, you can see the, the complete figure on a bubble, that's great. Um, we have the name Dracula. Of course, bendable, poseable, collectible, anything's fucking collectible, um, you could argue. My one problem with bendies, modern bendies, is they are not so fucking bendable. That seems to be the main problem. And um, we're gonna find out, because we're gonna open these fucking things up, but we're gonna take a look at everybody in the box first and foremost. So we start off with Dracula. It looks like he has a fabric cape. Hopefully that's a fabric cape. Um, we'll find out when we open it up and uh, and we'll see. Um, it's it's kind of like swept off to one side. Um, it's looking kind of rubber. Um, well, who knows? We'll see what it looks like when we open it up, but he's in his full Dracula regalia, the medallion, the little uh, fucking tuxedo, the big collar. Um, yeah, it looks like fucking Dracula. This is uh, officially licensed Universal Monster stuff. Looking at the back of the box, we got the same shit on all four of the boxes, the collect them all if you will, um, your legal mumbo jumbo, which there isn't a whole lot, which is cool. Distributed by Sunny Days Entertainment, LLC, P.O. Box 80644, Simpsonville, South Carolina. Um, made in China, no fucking shit. Everything is made in China. Um, but yeah, so that's Dracula. Moving on to the Wolfman. Um, and so we've got the Wolfman here. He's, he's in his fucking um, park ranger outfit. And he has a big, big afro. It's the Wolf Man. Um, yeah, so there he is. And uh, same back of the box. And um, looks pretty cool. He looks like he is not posable at all with his tiny fucking arms. Um, but we'll see when we open him up. All right, next up, we've got fucking Frankenstein's monster, um, or Frankenstein, as he's called on the box. I mean, I guess if he's Frankenstein's monster, he's technically Frankenstein's son, right? So he's he's a uh, Frankenstein. He's related. And, uh, and, and so there you go. Um, he's got his uh, Frankenstein uniform on, the green, uh, green pants, green sport coat, and green skin. All very, very fucking green. His big fucking Frankenstein shoes. Um, as my wife likes to call my creepers. Um, calls them Frankenstein shoes. Um, so yeah, and that's that's what he looks like in the box and we'll get him out in here in a second. Finally, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Lagoon pardon me. A very fucking cool looking sculpt. Um, very fishy looking. Um, he's got big fins for hands and feet, um, claws. Um, looks like he probably stands up pretty well because he has wide ass fucking feet. Um, he's gonna look good on the shelf. I'm, I'm fucking predicting right now, this is probably my favorite one once we get him out. Not that I don't like this character more than, than anything else, but as far as the look of the figure itself, this one's the fucking, the, the awesome one. Um, same shit on the back side. They actually look worse in the fucking pictures on the back side, but uh, Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up these fucking figures and see what they look like on the inside of the box. All right, so let's start it off with the Wolfman, baby. Um, so here he is, the Wolfman. Um, yeah, he looks like uh, Michael J. Fox's dad um, in, in fucking Teen Wolf. 
Um, if you remember, he's like, hey, I'm a fucking wolf too. Look at that, son. You need to they give him some glasses. He looks just like him. Um, yeah, um, this is, he looks like, like a Scooby-Doo wolf man. And the most fucking egregious fucking problem I have with the sculpt is these stubby goddamn arms. Like, it barely, fuck, this is it. This is your fucking range of posability. That's, it's all you got. He's like, oh, give me the money. Like, that's it. Like, fucking, barely. Modern bendies don't bend for shit. There's, like, hardly a reason to put a fucking little wire armature inside the goddamn thing. Most fucking these dumb booger eaters just leave them in the goddamn box all the time. So, uh, this is the one's like, okay, if you were going to get them all, you had to get this one. But he fucking looks like shit. All right, so next up we have uh, Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster, if you will. Um, also has fucking stubby ass goddamn arms, is hardly fucking posable at all. Um, I mean, I get, there, you, there you go, there's a pose for you. Um, I mean, yes, I know the, the fucking guy's supposed to be stiff, but you can't even put him in the fucking arms straight out thing because his arms are are fucking like about an inch long on a figure that is six inches tall um it's a it's okay as far as the sculpt is concerned he's not bad looking um and i guess if you had him up on a shelf somewhere and i guess if you left it in the fucking box he'd look okay but it seems like these things just kind of get crapped out there's like oh the universal monsters oh make a bendy and they make these things and they're not fucking posable you can't really do anything with them um and it's not a lot of fun like back in the day at least like in the 80s when i was a kid like the bendy figures were goddamn posable they were bendable you could do things with them that was what was the fucking you know the interest in these fucking things they weren't just fucking rubber slugs that, that you know they were slightly fucking posable like look at that look at look at look at look at he has like no points of articulation because he, he could hardly fucking do anything with them all right and so here, here it is it's the fucking it's count dracula blah, blah. he's fucking he's got a he's got a cape it's made of rubber it's covered in fucking semen um, it looks like it's, it's all stained from being in the fucking box. It hasn't even been in the box that long as far as I know. Um, his arms, they're, they seem to be the right length, but you can't even... Like he's like, oh, I can't, I can't believe, I can't believe these figures are so fucking bullshit. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Dracula. He's in, I mean, he looks like Dracula. It's an alright sculpt, but the problem is, is that when you go to try to fucking pose these stupid things they fucking they don't really like maybe he does a little bit you can kind of get his a little bend in his knees could you jam him into a fucking chair if you wanted to no no you couldn't um you'd have to cut his fucking waist off and 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 stick him on the top of the chair if you wanted him on a chair that's <laughs> like what the fuck is the point of having a posable figure or having these bendy figures the point is is to fucking to be able to pose them like you can twist his l fucking leg around a little bit but you really can't do much else with them and, and that's a fucking that's a shame it's a goddamn shame and so finally from the briny goddamn deep it's the fucking creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, very cool looking sculpt. So with the other figures, they had these really simple, really shitty looking sculpts. This thing is sculpted all the way through. He's got these big scales, the big fucking fins that go, go down, split into his legs. His, his hands are claws. Um, he is a really sick looking figure, even though I'm assuming he doesn't fucking pose at all. Um, eh, a little bit. You can kind of get a little bit, like you can pretend he's swimming, like, um, but it's again, the arms, the arms don't do anything, but, but say, why, why, why can't I fucking pose? Why? 
<sighs> Unfortunately, the posability on these posable fucking figures is really fucking poor. And at the end of the day, they want to charge you like fucking 10 bucks a piece on these things. And I would say that unless you absolutely, positively have to get everything Universal Monsters, stay far as fuck away from these as you possibly can. Shut up, Duke. Dang.